Hey YouTube, it's Mike White with 143. So today's class is going to be on sharpening up an image. So a customer submitted this artwork to my client and they need it sharp and they need it to print crisp. And we all know we're going to lose some detail if we're changing artwork. I mean, we're not going to you know, be able to fix it completely. But if we look at this and we zoom in, so this is at 66.7% and this is at 100%. So, you know, that's what's going to come off my printer if I print this. So this is about 3,500 pixels wide. It's 3,600 pixels to do a 12 inch. So it's about a 12 inch image that they're trying to print and it's going to print with all this quality that you can see. Let's look at that on white real quick. So we'll just throw a new layer behind it and we'll throw some white behind it. And now you can really see I mean, that's the quality that you're gonna get if you send this through the printer. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is increase my canvas size by just a bit. I just wanna get away from the edges. So I'll put 100 pixels around it. I'm, I'm doing relative with the canvas size. So we got a little bit of working room. And then I'm going to turn that white layer back on. And since it didn't expand with my canvas, I'm just going to zoom it out so it goes all the way to the edge. And now I'm going to reduce. So I'm actually going to reduce the size and try to get back to something that's, that's reasonable. So I can just take big leaps. 1,200. By reasonable, I mean sharp. So I'm looking for when it starts looking sharp again to me. And it's still it's really not. So this thing was super small when it got sent to my client. Ooh, I mean, and there's at some point where you're like, wow, if I go any any closer than that, uh, we're going to be in trouble. Let's, let's just do 400 and hope that we get uh, some detail out of it. All right, so now we've got it shrunk down. So now that's a hundred percent. That's the actual, you know, quality of the image as it was created. So we're not going to be able to create quality from nothing, but we are going to be able to expand this by bringing this into um, Inkscape. So I'm going to call this call names sword. My naming convention is very creative, and we'll just do 400 pixels. All right. So now we're popped over to in Inkscape and we'll just go ahead and embed that image. And then we're just going to go to path, trace bitmap, and literally Jerry spit map. 0 0.4521.20. .20. I believe those are the defaults. And if you've got a black image, that's going to work pretty great. So now let's pull that open. And you can see, we'll just go ahead and delete our image that we trace from. Let's make this full screen so we can see it real well. And you can see now we've got something that's sharp and clean. So we're just going to go to our document properties. I'm going to change this to pixels. And then we're going to resize page to draw in our selection. All right. And then I'm just going to save it. So I'm going to save it as. And I'm just going to save it as an SVG in that same folder. Skull wing sword SVG. Okay. And now I've got something clean that I can pull into Canva, I can pull it into Photoshop, I can pull it right into the Layout Designer at 143, and I'll have something that's sharp. And no matter how much we zoom in on it, it's always going to look razor sharp because it's an SVG. Hey, I hope that helps. That's just one technique for expanding things. Next time I'll show you a gigapixel. But this has been cleaning up customer-submitted artwork in Inkscape. Have a great day.